Well, I went into the VA. Uh, I uh, got a physical done. They suggested that I go through alcohol treatment, drug and alcohol treatment. And they had a 42-day program. And I, I turned it down the first time because I was in complete denial of my problem. It started to escalate further and further. And uh, then my wife of 25 years passed away. And I have two children. I have an alcohol problem uh, to the point that it was uncontrollable. Uh, I wound up losing my house, uh, two cars, a boat, and part ownership in an airplane. I found myself homeless. But along that way, I didn't uh, realize that I still had what is called vocational rehab. Uh, my initial uh, was 30%. Uh, I went through the counselors that I had at the VA here and he said, you need to come down. Uh, I had taken college courses in the military just to you know, sustain keeping my rank, but as a warrant officer, it wasn't required. Uh, he said, look, apply to school. And he told me a school, and I called that school. And I went to Crown College uh, on the Volk Rehab. 18 months later, I had a baccalaureate degree. I use it today in, in the job that I do have now, which is uh, employment coordinator for a nonprofit organization uh, that uh, takes care of the homeless uh, veterans, uh, veterans that are still incarcerated. I visit out at the prisons and help to brief them ahead of time on how to you know, come back, get in contact with me and the connection with the local community on getting jobs. I have over 100 employers that I work with on a daily basis, uh, some that will hire those that uh, have bad records. Uh, majority want to hire the veterans, uh, and uh, we go from there. Everything from writing a resume, how to interview, to how to keep the job and move up in promotions. Vote Rehab is definitely a step up if you're service connected 20% or greater for certain things and then you get the Vote Rehab. I had uh, three guys I used to work with at a different job that I referred them to Vote Rehab and now they have their degrees.